Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Cradle of Ruin by Sharon. It was made in 2017. Couldn't get this by actually buying it. It's not on Steam. Don't know if I... I'm just bad at finding games or not, and... If for some reason anybody knows where I can pay to actually buy this game, I'd, I'd love to know. My brother wanted me to play this game, sp specifically for one of the endings, so we're going to do a full playthrough of it. I think there's multiple different routes from what I remember. Anyhow, let's get into it. I think it plays like a visual novel and a normal RPG, but don't quote me on that. All characters in this game are fictitious, and any resemblance to real persons, groups, events is purely coincidental. It's been a while since I've played these games, so if for some reason there is a chase scene, don't know if there will be, but I, I might die a lot. Dong, dong, dong. I heard the sound of an old clock, and actually big tick-tock. In the blurry consciousness, only this sound kept ringing in the distance. I finally woke up, and realized that I've been here since the very beginning. I've been living here ever since I was born. It is dark, freezing, and we are the only ones allowed to live in such a place. We were born here and forced to create hallucinations. Feel that this is the only way to keep surviving. Then being brainwashed, thinking that the outside world is a land of horror. Thinking that leaving this place would be a mistake. These are constantly planted into our heads. We cannot leave here, no. Wouldn't even think about leaving, but just waiting for death passively. In this prison-like barren land, we just sunk into fake happiness. Just like this, we slowly move towards the ruin. Tasting the non-existent satisfaction without even noticing how unfortunate we are. Hmm. Wake up. Wake up. It's morning now, Hotaru. You should get up. I think this is meant to be your mom, quote unquote. You finally woke up. Good morning. I've tried to wake you up for a long time. Everyone else is having breakfast. Good morning. You sound energetic. All right, hurry, go wash your face and change your clothes. Can you do it by yourself? Ah, you have said that you're not a child anymore. I'm not laughing, you take it easy. Then I'll go. Come if you're ready. That breakfast today is everyone's favorite, sandwiches. If you're too late, it must be, it will be eaten by everyone else. The person who wakes me up is my mother. The morning has begun, just as usual with mother's voice. An ordinary day in this white box. I have to get changed soon and go to the dining room. Day one. From my knowledge, I think your character's like, 12 or something. Pretty rough to be in this situation. I don't think the mom's human, but oh well. Oh, age 10. Not good at communicating with others because of shyness. I'm so shy, a person like me. Just call mother when you have a problem. Oh, 
All right. These are picture books on the bookshelf. Daniel Diaz, Little Red Riding Hood Diaz, Hansel and Gretel. Ah, I played Hansel. Either one is old and tattered. What age is it? Mother picked them randomly from the library and brought it to me. Mother matters to the locked shelves. These are photo albums with my photos and diaries with lots of memories. Mother said when I grow up, we look at them together. It's made extracts of flowers. My mother out of her interest. The liquid smells good. Incense or perfume. An old fashioned clock. The sound of a clock remains in my head. Soft bed. Mother changes the sheets. The rubbish bin. Because mother helps me clean it up every day, there is nothing. The note written by mom. In agreement with mother. Do not be picky about food. Eat everything. Do not disturb mother and sisters when they work. Do not go out at night. Brush teeth and go to bed early. We should totally break all those rules. You're mean. All right, since it's at always running, holding shift lets me slow down. Good. The plant mothers keeps cultivating. She said it produces oxygen and makes the air taste good. Air could be tasty or not. I don't think air has a taste at all. The rubbish bin. The doll Suna loves. It looks as if it couldn't move. Just staring at its eyes, I'm allowed to be sucked in. Fake fruits that look real. The shelf could be found anywhere. There are picture books lined up on the shelf. Mikio Nightmare, Stupid Red Hair Dan, Demon in the Garden. In the closet, there are some clothes, Asuna. Do you want to smell the pillow? Sure. There is a smell of sweat. Yes, because that's how beds work. Do you want to smell the toilet? Uh, sure. Hmm. You're disgusting, Hotaru. Angelica's room. In the closet, there are clothes of Angelica. Novels and dictionaries. There is the smell of old grandma. I don't know what that's supposed to smell. There is a book called Noah's Garden. Want to read in this story? There are different endings in a closed space. There'll be truth in the end. They were kept in a box. Everything seen or heard are all dreams. Being tied to a bed, sleeping, just being nourished and alive, like experimental objects. Several people in a closed space will be triggered. They are not the ones who witness all this but the observers outside the box. Or us. It's like a fourth wall break book, my favorite. Do you want to smell the toilet? There's a smell of honey milk. That's weird. Library. A keep quiet sticker. Did mother put it up here? It's a drawing of a woman. It's a drawing of a man. Leonardo da Vinci, I, I think. Drawing of a flower. A book called Angel and Demon. Wanna read it? All right. Filled with best happiness, light hope into the dream world. People live in such a world. Foolish humans. They've committed countless crimes. How many lives will they take? Peace does not exist. Crimes are all over, even order are created. Finally, everyone's the same. Kill, take, death. Words after that are broken and can't be read. It's a world map. There's many cricket-shaped drawings. A book called Will Cyborg Dream of the White Box? Wanna read it? Cyborgs made by human are objects without souls. No facial expressions, no tears. Incompleted robot. The world is end, everything's destroyed. In this sea world, what kind of ending will four humans in one bio-cyborg face? Love, forgive, and kill each other. There's only living together or death. 
A book called Dagra Megira. Want to read it? Fetus, fetus, why you jump? Is it because you understand mother's heart, feeling afraid? Story happened in a mental asylum. Old clock starts ringing. Main character with amnesia woke up. Doctor claimed the main character got involved in crimes using psycho disabilities. Keep reading that file, keep retrieving his memories, confront the cruel end. Book called Wonderful Hokkaido. Do you want to read it? Hokkaido is a beautiful city. It is nature, fresh air, and water. But that's all it is. Covered in snow, meant to be doomed. It's a vague small town. Pen and paper. These books are important to the story. A book called Ice Book of the Soul. In this world, as crystals called Ice Block of the Soul. Inside a human heart, joy, fear, anger, sadness. When these happen, a matter formed by all these emotions combine. By touching this crystal, you might be able to see someone's heart. A book called Clues of the Garden World 1. Want to read it? In this garden, the future varies according to the choices you make. Especially important choices. We use red words to demonstrate. A world has four endings. B world has two endings waiting for you. After you've reached all endings, the door of truth shall finally open. Book called Clues of the Garden World 2. Do you want to read it? Inside the yeah, inside this garden, all sorts of signs are used. Places that's related to the storyline, or places or place of hint and comment will show bubbles. Place of props or places of characters will show shining. Conversation events or main characters thinking scene will show circles. Other important parts or when it comes to the end of the day will show stars. Talking to Bunny can save current progress. Yep. Great prophecy of the century. Pretty much I think the whole world's covered in snow. Hmm. A lot of foreshadowing. Good stuff. It seems to be called a fire extinguisher. Mother said that it'll be used when there is a fire. Why should I use it? It's locked. The plant's mother keeps cultivating. She said it produces oxygen. It makes the air taste good. Shower room. There's no need to get into the shower. Uh, fair, fair enough. Strange. We could run in there in the other rooms, but not our own. It seems to be called a ventilation tube. Without that, we'd be running out of air. Good. There's a lot of water in the bucket. It's the well, you can get water from here. Yep, an underground well inside an underground lab. Or building. I presume this is where they get all their food from. Neat. Allegedly, it can control electronic machines. Mother said soon I could not touch it. Underground tunnels. Maggie's room. There's a smell of flower. A photo of an unknown woman and a baby. The woman has a smile on her face. They contain drugs that might be used when getting sick or injured.
there is a sweet smell. The fact that you can smell toilets is really weird. Paper as ever. Appears to be a note McCurry wrote. A book called Dying World. All these complicated characters I just can't read. So this is what McCurry's been reading. Aroma of Memories. Hotaru has conquered all the smells on the pillow. Gain title, Pillow Master. Hey, your life can't start over. Smell the bathroom? A bit sour sweet. Butter has conquered all the smells in the bathroom. Gain title, Ammonia Conqueror. Can distinguish differences. Conquered all the women's toilets. That's weird. Fair enough. What is it? It's a gigantic machine. The engine room. Going in there is bad. Probably. I don't remember. Cafeteria. We are waiting for you, Hodor. Take a seat. Can I not? And go to the kitchen myself. Good morning, Hotaru. Didn't you sleep well last night? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Suna. Can I have Hotaru's sandwich? He was late. That's for Hotaru. Pretty sure the mom's the cyborg. Since all the others have very unique expressions. And you can tell that she's the adult because she's wearing the least amount of clothes for some reason. But Suna, don't be too caprice. You're making Maggie confused. But Suna's gonna be hungry with only this much. Hey, are you spoiling this little devil? The food is precious, are you sure? There's only so much. Don't worry about it. I am fine. I can still do my job without that much. It's okay. Well, whatever. Mother is my favorite person. The handiest and brightest who can do everything. No matter being in charge of life here, or doing laundry, cooking, it's all mother. Thanks to mother, we can keep living. This is Angelica. She's mother's best friend. Her steady personality seems to sink in rhythm with Mother. She's like an old grandma figure in these people. At least that's what I think. This annoying one is Suna. Don't take her lightly, she's actually older than me. Mother said I am more mature spiritually, so I'm better. This one, the distant one is Mik Mikuri. I'm not sure whether she is male or female. Her appearance is very intimidating. Being stared at her is like being stared at by a snake. In this white space, five of us live together. We finished breakfast as usual. A regular morning, a regular dawn. Blink of an eye, another day passed by. This is the dining room where everyone eats. Kitchen is here too. Although Mother's cooking is delicious, Angelica McCurry doesn't fit my stomach. Teacups and teapots. Dishes. An oven. Of, of course, Yuna steals food. No matter today or tomorrow, every day is the same. It's boring, don't you think so? But actually, not every day is repeating the same thing. Oh, Hotaru might not understand what it means. For me, every day is changing. I'm looking forward to see Hotaru and Suna keep growing. 
This irreplaceable place can last forever. I believe so. You're all my favorites. Hodoro feels the same, right? Hey, Hodoro, don't run. It's dangerous. You went off once and you got hurt. What's wrong? There's something. Just thinking it's about time to ship supplies. Because everyone has a good appetite, so we're consuming food quite fast. It's going to be a problem. Can you find Angelica for me? Thank you. You are so quiet. Usually you'd be making a fuss, pissing Maggie off. Compared to that, it's very troublesome. Did something bad happen? It's nothing, no matter what it is. Can you, can you be quiet? It still doesn't fit me, playing with kids and stuff. Without that, I respect Angelica and Maggie sincerely. Please stop jumping on my nerves, I'm thinking. Hedra, what is it? You've been staring at me since then. Do you want me to play with you? I don't know how to entertain a kid. It's, I'm sorry. If you understand, go play with Zuna. This is the engine room. This is McCurry's room. A mess as usual. I don't have to worry about investigating each and every room with extreme detail, but I already looked at them. She said I shouldn't touch anything in her room. Wow. That's tragic. This is the greenhouse. Hello, Suna. I know that. This is called carrot. It's a vegetable. Why don't we feed the bunny next time? It's mother's favorite flower. I remember the name is Blue Star. Mickey has told me this is her favorite flower. The meaning of this flower is... What was it again? What should we play today? Play ghost, play house, hide and seek. Maybe we can make a wreath. Or maybe go in the engine room. If you find anything fun, just tell them. Come and tell me. I don't think you should go to the engine room. McCurry was staring at me when I was playing earlier, so I want to revenge and play a prank on her. About stealing McCurry's books. Mother will scold us. Why not? You were bad. I hate McCurry. She gave me the cold shoulder. She's way too bad compared to Maggie and Angelica. Hmm. Boring rooms. Here is a library. Angelica, hello. How rare the Hotoro come to a library. The books here are all interesting. You can trust them if you want. Although all the special books were borrowed by McCurry. Ah, what is it? Maggie is asking for me. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. Or two. When you read all kinds of books over, you'll finally understand what the author really tried to express. What do you have to say, Angelica? Yeah, what's wrong? Isn't that book too hard for you? It said that there are angel and demons lying under a human's heart. The angel leads humans to the right direction, taking people in good deeds and having compassion. And the demon leads human towards evil. Taking people into bad deeds and make evil choices. Story of our paradise. Which side will it tilt? Who will make the choice? I just can't wait to see the ending in the distant future. Alright. 
It's called a map. It records the world we live in. Does Sotoro know? A long time ago, humans lived in huge continents. The free world. What a beautiful fairy tale. Does Sotoro want to see the sky, the ocean, nature? Yes. Just keep praying. One day we'll eventually see it. Have you seen it? I'm not sure. I've seen photos many times, but I'm fine with just going like this. Because I only have one wish. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, angels, demons. That's not at all how that works. Okay. This is the shower room. Well, they would help us wash our bodies before we slept. I hate showers. Did you find Angelica? She's right behind me. I'm going to the warehouse. Be a good boy and stay here, Hotoro. Be careful. Thank you. I'm heading out. We must get the foods from the underground warehouse on schedule. The path that place is very dangerous. If not with adults, I might lose my life. The door is usually locked and the key is kept by Mother and Angelica. I wait for Mother as I usually do. And then... Mother never came back. Ah, oh, what a nice prologue. This is where we can choose our ending or storyline. I think there's four different paths, one good ending, one bad ending for each character or something. Life is a continuation of choice. You cannot turn back. to the angels and demon thing, that's not at all how that works. Angels are not visible to humans, and demons are in the spirit world. We can't see them, they can definitely interact with us. But it's our choice to be evil or not, which is why it's a terribly cruel and irrational world. This is your dream, or reality. This world in your eyes, is it really the reality? The world you've been looking at might not be the truth. What is truth? What is the lie? You know nothing about it. You could only walk alone in the darkness, in this maze with no exit forever. There is no knowing the reality, and the truth is buried in the darkness. Day number two. Cradle of Ruin. B route.
In order to get the A route, I think you have to want to go with her. Hey, it's the save bunny. Angelica, is this true? It is. You're lying. You liar, liar. Maggie went missing. This. Mother. Dot, dot, dot. Why did Miggy go missing? Did she say something in the end? I don't know. The underground tunnels are so dark, I don't know what happened either. She was already gone when I realized something was wrong. It's my fault. I'm sorry, guys. Angelica. What a boring ending. Is Maggie the kind of person who would die that easily? Did you do something to Maggie? That sort of thing is not going to be over by simply apologizing. I'm still aware of that. But please, trust me on this. I swear I didn't do anything bad. And Maggie, she's my best friend. How could I possibly do something that cruel? I don't know. You seem to like that angel and demon book. Decide. What do you mean by decide? Maggie's probably not coming back. Need someone to be in charge of laundry cooking. Also someone to take care of the shipping. Thinking from the reality aspect is the most basic thing to do in order to survive. All along, we've been dumping this on Maggie. Now with her gone, we'll have to take over. Why well, talk like she's never coming back? Maggie's definitely coming back. Uh, not on this route. Soon we'll never live with McCurry. A house divided will not stand. I'm not here because I like you. I'm trapped here, too. Two of you, stop. Deciding what to do from now on is important, but first, let's take some time to accept that she's gone. Wait till they all calm down, then we'll talk about it. Whatever. You just keep pretending the happy family. I'll do this my own way. McCurry. Alright. Hello, safe bunny. Bunny is the universal save point. Would you like to save, bunny? I am a little bunny. Anyhow, we'll leave off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of this. Since I don't remember much, I this is actually really nice. I hope it gets dark at some points, but only because that's just the style of game I like to play. I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your days. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.